Hey everybody, this is Joe at Drone Man Productions. Today I want to talk a little bit about my uh, Sonic Wake 36 inch Pro Boat. I want to talk about the battery compartment right here. And basically, I'm sure other people have had this issue. The problem with getting the batteries to tighten down into this compartment. Because this compartment, as you see right here, is a little bit too big for most lipo batteries now i use spectrum smart technology batteries i usually run on a 6s 5000 milliamp 100c smart battery uh, you can use two 3s 11.1 volt this is a 22.1 volt and you could use these you can use two of these and uh, put them in there but the problem was is that I was having is I couldn't get the batteries to tighten down. I took it out for my first run. The boat flipped and the battery became dislodged because I could not get this battery to sit there and tighten into the straps. The compartment is way too big. The boat flipped over. It didn't fill because the ballast of the boat was off and the battery became dislodged so i was like what the hell am i supposed to do you know i put these batteries in i couldn't figure out i used two of them and they couldn't get uh, tightened up so i said something has to be uh, made to sit there and get this to uh, hold the battery properly with these velcro straps so what i did was is that i got some foam basic foam and I cut it out. What I did is, is I measured the length of the battery uh, cradle, length and width, and I took it and, and I wrapped it in duct uh, uh, electrical tape. All right. So what I put it in there and I said, okay, I'm going to put this in the base. All right. And I'm sure other people that have this boat have had issues about the battery. So that sits in there and that brings up the height of the cradle as you see. So when you put the battery in and you're like, all right, it's still not working properly because you tighten them up and everything and it's still moving back because there's a lot of space between here. And yeah, hopefully this is coming out uh, to the back, uh, that foam of the front of the boat. So I got another piece of foam, cut it out, measured how far from the back of the battery to the back there and put it in there and I'll show you. So what I did was is that I put this in there, loosen up the strap a little bit. Now I'm going to not going to tighten it all the way up and everything. And I put that in there, tighten that up. Okay guys. And that got secured. That's down secured there. Put the battery in. All right. And I always put my battery in flat, and that's the white with uh, the widest part right here, and with the strap with the uh, plug in there. If you want to get some good batteries, you get these Spectrum Smart batteries. Yes, they cost a little bit more. This success battery, 5,000 milliamp, 100C is about 159 dollars. Okay, so then you tighten it up right there. You tighten that down. And I'm not going to do it really tight. And now the battery is really secure in there. As you see, that battery, when this boat flips over, flips around, because there's a lot of vibration going on inside here, okay, this battery is not going to come loose. It sit there, and it is full tight inside there. Now, of course, I didn't tighten that all the way. And if you're using one 6S, 5,000 or whatever uh, milliamp battery that you're using, you have to use a jumper link cable for one of the leads. So then you take that one, you plug it in there, and the lead, the other lead is in there. All right. Don't do what I did. When I first got this, inside the instructions, it clearly just simply says, connect your two battery packs, all right, to your ESC, all right. I did that. I took two of these successes. I did not even understand. I don't know. I'm new at this. I didn't understand it. That was like 44.2 volts shot into the 
ESC and it blew up in my face. As soon as I turned on the uh, the boat, okay, it just blew up right in my face like a blowtorch, knocked me right back. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. What the hell happened? I didn't understand. Because the instructions don't clearly tell you that in the Horizon Pro Boat Sonic Wake Horizon Manual. I immediately contacted um, uh, contacted Horizon. They were like blown away. They were like, oh my God, we're sorry this happened or anything whatsoever. They fixed it. They sent me a brand new Pro Boat. No questions whatsoever. Uh, I explained to them about the battery situation and told them what uh, what needed to be done. Hopefully they're going to look into that and get that fixed because most LiPo batteries are not going to fit into this. Okay, it really, uh, it, it, it's the cradle down there is way, way too big for most batteries. They sent me a new, uh, uh, Doug at uh, uh, the production uh, supervisor, I believe his name is, uh, sent me a brand new Probro. No questions asked. He also asked me, and I checked my batteries. The batteries are really uh, are in great shape and everything whatsoever. They were fine. He also sent me two brand new, and he asked me, he said, do you want uh, another 6S? I said, well, send me two 3S 11 volt 5,000 milliamp 100C. 100C gives you a lot of burst. When you sit there and hit full power, this thing goes bang like a bullet out of a, a, a gun. It just has a lot of burst. So he sent me two of these. So when I put them in, they'll be like side by side, tighten up and everything, which I use. These smart batteries are unbelievable. All you need to do if you buy a smart battery from uh, Spectrum here, which is sponsored by uh, Horizon Hobby, you get, you'll have to buy a smart charger, a Spectrum smart charger. This is an S 2100 smart charger. This has dual output, so you can charge two batteries. All you do is plug them in, plug in your uh, uh, balancing cable, I call it, and plug in your charger right there, okay? And everything is done. You don't have to do nothing. It charges, it knows the battery, it knows everything what needs to be done. Absolutely simple, very, very easy. This is $149. I got it off of Amazon. It is unbelievable. Links will be in the description for the boat, the batteries, the charger, everything down below. All right. Also, which is really smart, and I'm going to tell you right now, store your batteries in a good LiPo bag. All right. You just put them in there, let them in there, and you're good to go. Or get yourself a nice little uh, uh, bag right here. Store your batteries. I store all sorts of things. Uh, nine volts, eight, uh, uh, double A's, uh, whatever it is, uh, triple A's, all sorts of batteries in there. So I keep them all inside. You know, I don't like to uh, uh, keep my batteries exposed. So in case there was an explosion or something, check your batteries. Make sure they, uh, you know, if they're bubbling or something happens, you want to get them disposed of. But this solves the problem with the battery inside the uh, 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 Sonic Wake 36 inch Pro Boat. A lot of people don't know about this. People are sitting there asking me questions and so I want to do a video. Loving this boat. This boat is fantastic. It's a brushless uh, uh, motor right here. Absolutely fantastic. Great, great handling. I got a couple of videos up. Hope you watch them. Any questions whatsoever, solve that problem basically with a couple of pieces of foam. Now the batteries are nice and secure. Take that battery out. All right. There is the, uh, the ba oh, let me get that piece off first. Hopefully this is looking good. Like I said, I made this fit for the back of the boat to the front. Okay. So our, our back of the battery to the boat and everything with her so that keeps it nice and secure wrapped it in uh, electrical tape very crude just sit there and cut that out measure that taped it up measure the length width put it in there fits nice just some foam fantastic job all right more talk about the smart technology of the batteries and everything whatsoever in the next video and how they charge everything whatsoever 
I personally like to use a one battery 6S. I get about five, six minutes with full throttle on this bad boy. Uh, wonderful, 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 wonderful batteries. Like I said, the Spectrum S2100 Smart Charger, $149. Everything, just plug them in. Everything is good to go. You don't have to sit there and set nothing. Everything is done for you. And if you're an idiot like me, you want simplicity. All right. So I'm loving this boat. I just want to sit there and tell people about how to fix that. And I spoke to uh, Horizon Hobby about that. And hopefully they'll look into it. But that was a scary thing when I hook up, hooked up and stupid to 6S 22.1 volts. That was like 40 uh, 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 42.2 volts of power going into this uh, e, uh, ESC and that just blew up right my I was standing above it standing right above it and it just blew up like a blowtorch right in my face it was unbelievable and they realized the fact is that in their manual that they don't really specify when connecting the batteries into it or anything whatsoever. They really don't. And they took full responsibility, got me a new boat, paid for the other one to go back, got me a new boat within a week, and I was up and running. So uh, any questions or anything whatsoever, I certainly would appreciate it. Uh, give me a yell, shout out, like, subscribe. Uh, thanks a lot. Real simple fix. You got to do it yourself. But... Hopefully they'll fix that uh, problem in the future. Thanks a lot for watching. Drone Man out. Talk to you all soon. Have a great day.